Okay, I'm going to look at how to watch um, Media Center files and recordings on Apple TV. So it's a two-step process. Uh, you can see I got all these WTV files you might recognize from Windows recordings. I need to first convert it, so I'm going to use a tool called MCE Buddy. Uh, it's, a, it's a GUI. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, I'm going to set uh, select a, a source where my WT files are, and then a destination where I'm going to uh, put the MP4s. Okay, you can also see I have options to delete the original file, uh, a couple other things. They're not really much, pretty much leave it. Uh, it's good to go. It, it does take a while, so you can see it starts and it's going to gather information uh, about the show. It's a pretty smart tool. Uh, it takes quite a while, like I think an hour for one file. So usually I put a whole bunch of files in the folder and just run it at night and in the morning it's done. Um, the other thing it does is it does take out commercial, so that's a nice uh, feature. And um, like I said, really straightforward. So this is the first step we got to convert it. When this is done, um, we will need to put it in iTunes. You can see here, I here's one here's here's files that were done, completed. It, it's nice. It's got the name of the show, the season number, the episode number, and the name of the episode. And I just open up one just as a quick demo. You can see in Media Player now it plays it, and um, it works out real nice. So now the second step is I have to get it into iTunes so that Apple TV can find it. So <clears throat> you can see I'm in the uh, TV section here, my iTunes, and what I need to do is add that file or all of those files to my library. Uh, right now iTunes doesn't know anything about those Seinfeld episodes. So I go to the folder where I was saving all the MP4s. If you tried to do this with the WTV files, it's not even going to find it. It doesn't know what that is what those are. So here's all the Seinfeld episodes. I'm going to basically select them all and uh, then click open. And then and now uh, iTunes will start to to pull those in. It's looking at all those files and when it's done you know you'll, it, it'll be displayed there in the TV shows section and it's nice it's organized it by seasons and uh, some descriptions there now the last piece is I have to turn home sharing on I actually already had it on here but you can see home sharing so this allows Apple TV to find everything in your iTunes so now I'm over here at Apple TV I go to computers I already had home sharing on so it recognizes my iTunes library and there's TV shows there and you can see I have this show called the following and I scroll down and I can find all my Seinfeld episodes. And it has a nice little display there, cover art. And that's from the MCE Buddy. Um, and I'm going to turn it on just to show you. You know, it cuts out the commercial in the beginning because I usually start the recording a minute or two early, so there's no commercial in the beginning. And um, I did find where a commercial kind of got cut a little bit. Uh, it was still in there, so we kind of see that. But otherwise, um, it's a little bit of work, but I, once they're in my library, it's good. So just in summary, it's really three steps, I guess. It, you need to convert it, the files with MC Buddy, then you add it to iTunes, and then you make sure home sharing's on, and that gets you access to your iTunes through Apple TV.